everybody and welcome back to another episode of prestige liquids my name is andrew and as always it is fantastic to have you here with me again on another whiskey review video if you're a returning subscriber thank you for joining me along my journey so far and if you're new to the channel then make sure you hit that bell notification uh, so that you can stay up to date with all future content now in today's video i am going to be review reviewing for you a single barrel release from the Corowa distilling co um, so for those of you who have been following me for some time, you may be aware that I have already reviewed a few of the Coral whiskies. I have got a playlist ready to go for that as well. So I'll put a link down in the, in the description down below um, so that you can have, I guess, immediate access to, um, to those previous videos. Now, as I mentioned, um, this is a single barrel release from Coral. This is cask number 32 and with this one um, so a little while ago i reviewed the Corowa mad dog morgan uh, again another fantastic whiskey this is the single cask version of that um, of that release so um, this whiskey was meant to go into the vatting for the for the mad dog morgan but uh, the team at Corowa felt that um, this was I guess just too good of a whiskey to be um, to be mixed into the vatting, so they've released it as it is. So, as I mentioned, this is cast number thirty-two, um, bottle number fifty-seven of ninety-eight. It has been aged for I think it was just over four years, an ABV of fifty-five percent. Um, it is also been aged in American oak, and it is an ex musket cask barrel. So pretty much all the information that we need is just all on the label there. And as far as I know, um, all natural color and non-chill filtered as well. So let's um, pour some of this lovely nectar into the glass and I'll start the review. Come on, <laughs> struggling with the screw cap. All right. Put that down over there and let's get into it. So, cheers on the nose. This, oh, but the nose is so dense. One of the first things that I'm picking out are like ripe stone fruits. So, think of like nice, ripe, sweet peaches and nectarines. getting lots of honey burnt caramel vanilla there's a touch of touch of white pepper but one thing that I'm really enjoying about this is that there's just a nice gentle level of oak influence that just blends everything together so it's like you've got all those again so those stone fruits vanillas caramels all sitting together inside like a nice oak box and you've just got a perfect combination of um, of of uh, flavor coming out there i'm also getting green grapes like sweet juicy grapes also sultanas apples definitely some like granny smith apple going on there it's such such a brilliant nose Alright, that's it. Let's get on to the palette and let's see what we get. So, cheers. The mouthfeel is amazing. Thick, syrupy. Uh, it's, it's very spicy as well. I'm getting a lot of peppery notes coming through some nice intense like alcohol prickle as well 
as I mentioned at the start of the video, this is being bottled at 55%. So you've just got a nice, like a really nice big wallop of a ABV influence there. It's just so syrupy. And then I just love how it, like it dehydrates your mouth and then almost instantaneously again, <laughs> you just start salivating. It's just a really awesome experience just from like, the initial tasting. Then as that kind of subsides, you start to get the, the, like, I guess the general flavor of the whiskey coming through. Think nice, thick, honey, vanilla. Um, that's one thing that I was surprised at first uh, when I when I had like the neck pour of this I wasn't really getting so much of the the vanilla influence, but um, as it's as I'm making my way through the bottle Those vanilla notes are coming up a lot more now. So it's a lot like a nice uh, like a nice gentle vanilla cream um, kind of like those um, that icing that you get between those Arnott's shortbread cream um, biscuits as well probably one of my favorite biscuits I love that so I'm getting a lot of that um, kind of like sweet sugar notes as well more apples and pears okay so now dried fruits I'm getting things like sultanas dried apricots figs it's just i think this is probably so far has been one of my my favorite releases that i've tried from Koroa so far i've been fortunate enough to be able to try quite a few of their releases i think I've, at the moment i've had about seven or so um different expressions of theirs they've all been incredible but so far this single barrel release has been my absolute favorite it is just absolutely beautiful there's just so much going on but yet it it, it isn't unbalanced either it just has a very good harmony about it all the flavors come together really well towards the back end of the palette i'm starting to get things more like uh i guess like those leathery notes also like cigar tobacco there's and again that oak influence just keeps coming through very nicely as well it's just very well balanced the finish at first can be a bit prickly um, but then after a few sips once you've gotten used to it it just mellows out really well I'm getting again a lot of those there's honeys caramel uh, I'm starting to get quite a bit of like dark chocolate as well on the finish. That's something that I wasn't getting um, on the palate or the nose. I'm um, also getting quite a bit of nuttiness as well, kind of like a uh, like cashew and macadamia. Uh, it's I don't know if I don't know. It could just be me, but this is something that I've never really noticed on a finish for a whiskey before, and it's kind of like a like an oiliness, kind of like a, I don't know, it's very hard to um, to describe this, it's not something that I've really experienced before, but there's kind of like an oiliness to, um, to the finish that I haven't experienced before, and again, when you're getting new experiences from a whiskey, then you know you're onto something, something amazing. Um, guys, to all the team at Koroa, you guys have been putting out some absolutely incredible products. I'm always excited to see what uh, what new releases um, you guys re um, bring out to us. But so far, everything has just been absolute gold. Uh, yeah, this is incredible stuff, and I just really do look forward to seeing what else comes out in the future. So um, keep up the good work. And, um, yeah, I'll definitely be throwing my support behind you guys in the years to come. So, uh, great job. And, yeah, that's it. I think I've babbled on a bit too much now. Um, I'll leave it at that. As I mentioned at the start of the video, my name is Andrew. And I'll see you all again on the next video. Get this.